Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. I hope that you are all doing well. And if you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I am doing a book haul revisit. I will be taking a look at the books that I hauled in September of 2021. And I'm going to let you know if I've read any of them, if I still want to read any of them, and if there are any that I just completely forgot about, which does happen. So last year at this time, we were still very new to Calgary and we were just settling in and I had gone to check out one of the bookstores that is very close to me. It is a used bookstore called Fair's Fair Books and not surprisingly, I have been a few times since. Um, so for this revisit, I am going to look at the six books that I, I had picked up at Fair's Fair um, last September. And I see in the original haul that I didn't get much further than their Canadian section. And that is definitely um, obvious in the haul, as five out of the six books are by Canadian authors. So of these six books, I have read three of them. And good news, the other three books are all still on my radar. So I didn't have any books in this one that, you know, I forgot about at all. So I'm going to share the three books that I read I think I'm going to do it in the order that I enjoyed them. So from least enjoyed to most enjoyed. And I'm going to start with Half Spent Was the Night by Canadian author Amy McKay. And this is a follow up to McKay's book, The Witches of New York. It's really a novella. It's a very quick book. It's just over 100 pages. So if you're still looking for something uh, for Shorty September, uh, this might appeal to you, but I do say in my original haul, which I, I think I still agree with, uh, that it might not work on its own. Um, I enjoyed The Witches of New York. It's a much bigger book, um, I, but I remember those characters and um, this story does follow those characters, but this book, it did fall flat for me uh, because I didn't think it added anything to the story, really. Um... For the next two, it's kind of difficult to choose which one I enjoyed better because I really enjoyed both of them and I gave both of these four stars. Um, I still remember them, I still remember the characters, I've talked about them several times uh, since reading them, so on any given day these could be interchanged. But I think for today I'm going to go with This Little Light by uh, one of my favorite Canadian authors, Lori Lansons. So this book has a lot going on with it and it only takes place over two days. The main characters are two teenage girls from very well-to-do families and they live in a gated community. And this community has criminalized abortions and the pill. And all girls who are 16 are expected to pledge to their father that they will save their virginity until marriage. And the two girls are considered to be terrorists by ultra right wing Christians. And the girls are in hiding because people believe they planted a bomb in the school. And the story is narrated by Rory and through the blog that she is writing uh, while in hiding. And using the blog as a device was both a good and problematic. So this book made me think for sure. And I thought that the way it ended uh, was very interesting too. And then from the three books I read, <laughs> the one that I, I think I'm going to say this was the one I enjoyed the most. Uh, this is The Ghost in the House by Sarah O'Leary. And I think I just talked about this actually in my um, books you can read in one day video. I'm pretty sure that I chose it for that. Um, the main character, Faye, wakes up and her house has changed and other people are in the house and she has to figure out what has happened with her life. And I thought that this story was so well done and really good if you like a character-driven novel. Uh, Sarah O'Leary has written children's books and um, she has some short story collections out too, I think. So I might try the short stories, but I would definitely read, you know, more of her fiction if she publishes again. And this is, again, a very quick read. So that leaves us with three books that I didn't read, but all of them are on my TBR. 
And I'm going to start with a book that has been on my TBR uh, the longest, and it's the one that I, I want to read first, which means we are going to be sticking with Canadian authors. Um, I really want to read February by Lisa, Lisa Moore. I have yet to read anything by Lisa Moore, and I have a feeling that I will really, really enjoy her writing. I've heard great things, and February won Canada Reads in 2013. It was shortlisted for The Booker, so I hope to get to this. Um, and then I'm going to stick with Canadian authors. And I had picked up Fifth Business by Robertson Davies. Uh, and this is kind of cheating because I've actually already read this book, but it was in high school and I'm not sure that counts because I don't remember anything about it other than I didn't want to read it. So I like these editions and now that I'm older, I would like to go back and see if I will enjoy it now that I don't have to read it. And then the final book on the pile is from a British author and this book is huge. Ducks Newberry Port by Lucy Elman. This book has had a lot of hype so I'm not going to say too much other than um, I do still really want to read this um, but I know that I need to you know not only have the time because it, it's huge but I think I also need to be in the right mood for this book so I will eventually get to this um, hopefully sooner rather than later. So not a bad revisit, you know, half of them are still on my TBR, half of them read. Um, so let me know if you have read any of these, especially if you've read the ones that I haven't. Is there one that you think I should read first? I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.